This video will demonstrate how to edit images in Google Slides. To get started, we're going to head on over to a Google Slides presentation. Here I am in a Google Slides presentation. I just went ahead and made a quick one slide presentation and inserted an image in it. To begin editing my image, I'll need to click the image once to select it. And you'll notice that once my image is selected, we have a few image options appear at the top of the screen. One of the first things I like to do whenever I put images in a slideshow, I always like to crop the shape of the image. Um, a lot of times I'll take shapes that are rectangles and just make them rounded rectangles to look a little bit nicer. Sometimes if I'm putting a face um, in a presentation, I'll crop it as a circle. So I have the image selected. I'm going to click this arrow to the right of the crop button. I'll hit mask. And then you'll see a whole bunch of shapes pop up here. So I can mask it as a rounded rectangle. And we'll see that that kind of rounds out the corners. If I hit that mask image again and go to shapes, I can also mask it as a circle. And I can resize then as needed. Or I can pick any number of arrows, callouts, or any other way I'd like to mask this image. I can also just do a standard crop of the image by clicking on it and just clicking the crop button. I can crop out anything that I don't want to be in the image. And then I'll just hit enter to crop my picture. If I double click on my image to crop it again, you'll be able to see the previous edits that you made. You also may want to give your image a border. To give your image a border, I'm just going to come over here, I'm going to click on my image and come over here to the line weight and give it a one or two point line weight. And I can change the line color from black to any other color that I want to make a border. And you'll notice that as I crop or mask my image, that border color stays on there. You can modify the color properties of your image by clicking the image options in the toolbar. Here, you can recolor the image by clicking the no recolor button and choose any number of colors to recolor your image. You can also adjust the transparency, so make your, making your image see-through by toggling the transparency to the right or to the left. Transparency is very useful if you want to stack images on top of one another. For example, if I put another image in here and I want this Google Slides logo to be behind, I want, I want this Google Slides logo to be on top of my picture, but I still like to be able to see my picture through it, I can click the Google Slides logo and adjust its transparency so that I can see both images. Also, I can reorder these two pictures by clicking one of them. In this case, I'll click the slides logo, right click, and order the image by sending it backwards. So now my original picture is layered on top of it. You can do the same thing with shapes in a slideshow as well. Looking again at the image options, you can make the image brighter or reduce the brightness by toggling the brightness bar. And you can do the same thing for the contrast of the image as well. Another way we can edit our images in Google Slides is by rotating them. So I'm going to go ahead and right click my image and go to rotate and I can rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise or if I go to rotate, I can flip it horizontally to create a mirror image of that picture. Or I can flip it vertically to make it upside down. All of the editing features I demonstrated in Google Slides are also available in Google Drawings. Additionally, many of these features are available in Google Docs as well. So no matter which Google tool you're using, you will have some editing capabilities on your images.